I am back with a video about bike trailers. So I get asked a lot, probably number one question aside from riding in the rain, is how I get groceries. So um, I've been meaning to post about how much I like this burly flatbed cargo trailer. Um, I have to look up the actual name because I bought it like four years ago. It's still going strong. I moved most of the stuff from my apartment to my house, um, about a thousand square feet of stuff um, in 2017 um, on this trailer. I only was moving like a mile and a half away, um, but I've had many <laughs> random adventures um, since then. I bought the trailer in part so that I could move weird stuff and like buy furniture at a thrift store and take it home um, and do things that were just not pannier friendly. Um, it was really handy for getting groceries. Um, I popped the um, plastic bin in there on um, onto the trailer um, and I usually bungee it down but that's just to give you an idea of the size. Um, and it's really handy to go for like long grocery runs. So I found that during COVID when I was trying to minimize grocery runs, um, rather than, you know, getting like a week's worth of stuff in my panniers, I could get like three weeks worth of food um, loaded up onto this um, flatbed trailer. Um, it holds, I routinely put more than like 50 to 75 pounds of stuff on it. Um, I forget the weight limit, I have to look that up. Um, I will link to the product, I guess, um, and you can check it out um, and see if it fits your needs. Not everybody needs a bike trailer, and I don't think you need one to um, go grocery shopping, but it certainly has made some things easier, and it comes in really handy. Um, and the wheels do pop off on this thing um, to help it store. You can fold it a little bit flatter. Um, and it's, I usually don't bother doing that because I have this shed that I store it in um, and I just keep it in there and I use it every few weeks maybe so I don't bother like collapsing it down, I just, I just throw it in there. Thankfully I have enough room. Um, if you have an apartment or something like that, you know, the space um, for a bike trailer um, storage is certainly an issue um, so it's something to consider whether if you're trying to figure out if you want a bike trailer, um, you're gonna have to have a place to put it. So I know that space is often an issue if you're living in a city, in an apartment, um, you might not have like a secure place to put it. Um, so um, I bought this trailer four years ago um, and I won on Instagram another trailer, which I'm gonna open now. This is the Burley Travoy, and I've seen this and been super curious about it. So instead of a rear, um, a rear head um, axle um, mount, which I can show you on the flatbed, um, this one is a different mounting point. It mounts on your seat post and kind of goes over, kind of like a hand truck or a dolly, like a moving dolly. So I'm really curious to see how this works. Um, apparently it folds down even smaller. Um, and something that, I mean, I have moved windows for my house construction projects. I've even moved some pieces of lumber and things on this uh, trailer. Um, you just have to make sure that you have clearance for your back tire. But um, I've also moved a giant, like eight foot tall fiddle leaf fig tree on this trailer. Um, so I'm interested to see like the differences between the shape on these trailers and see if the Travoy might be good for taller um, items like small trees um, and different things that I might be moving around. So I'm gonna open it up and you're gonna watch me try to put this together and I will give you my honest opinion. Um, and like I said, I won this on Instagram. This is not sponsored or anything. I just used hashtags, so you can hate all you want on hashtags, but if you pay attention to some of these companies, um, they have these like bike month promotions. Um, so in the month of May for bike month, um, I use the hashtag RMMC bike month, which is ride more miles challenge. 
and Burley is, I really like that they, um, you know, encourage people to get out on their bikes. And this was a promotion with um, people for bikes. Great organization. You should definitely look up people for bikes and check them out if you're not already a member. Okay, enough of that plug for things that I just really like that make biking better. Um, I'm going to pull this trailer out now and we'll see what we got. So I do think it's really cool that it just comes in this tote bag. Um, that is definitely different than the flatbed. Here it is. This one is blue for people for bikes. I think they have different colors. So, this is cool. It just folds it out. I'm sure there's like a um, mechanism here for when I'm folding it back in. It's even got a helpful sticker, so I'll check that out. like I use this lever. Okay, that's like the stand-up lever. Then I have my instruction manual. I've got the two wheels. These look like 12 inch, 12 and a half. And I think that's a 16 inch wheel. So there's another difference. Okay. I'm positive that that one has a 16 inch wheel. And then it just looks like this. I thought it was a bunch of small parts, but actually this is just the seat post mount. And this I think is just a strap, maybe for the tote bag, or maybe for strapping something in here. So. Okay, that's cool. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with how easy this is to figure out. It's very intuitive. I definitely like that. To fold the different parts, you just twist these handles. So, I mean, super easy to do. There's a different one for the bottom. Um, and so I think I can get used to that pretty easily. The wheels pop on and off with their quick release buttons right here. So let's see if I, I got them on really easily. Let me see. They come right off too. So push the button to get them on and off. Otherwise they are secure. And sadly, you cannot ride on this thing, which is a tragedy. Um, definitely a difference in the weight limit um, allowance on this. I think it'll still be fine, but on the upper part, um, weight limit of 20 pounds. I guess that's like a leaning weight. And then a carry weight of up to 40 pounds, which is still a lot. And then I'm going to just attach this to my seat post. This is the adapter. It looks like it has a quick release, so it looks even easier to get on and off than my um, mount, hitch mount for the other one, which I still have to go um, back and get just so I can show them both on one video for comparison. But anyway, um, this is also quick release and you can extend um, this out. I'm a little nervous about it fitting over my rear rack, so let's see.
All right, I'm gonna back this up so you can see it better. Um, obviously, I need to lock this down here because um, it's sliding, but that's pretty easy to do with a quick release. All right, now it's not sliding. So um, this was really easy to get on and off. Um, I really like the levers. They feel really like durable, if that makes sense. They don't feel flimsy at all. They feel like secure, which is definitely what you want when you're hauling stuff around in your bike. I really like this little thing. Maybe I can get closer. I really like this feature. It's still kind of hard to see, but you can you have this um, slider and it slides and keeps the pin um, right on here, but it still has swivel. So speaking of the swivel, let's test that out. Seems like it has the clearance, so this is cool. Um, I will try to take some video um, that's backed up so you can actually see what it looks like not up close. Um, I'll do that on pavement. I don't really want to ride around uh, my backyard. It's, it's not flat. Um, and we'll check it out. I probably am. I'm going to go to the store now, too, to test out and see um, what it's like carrying something on this slanted setup, which is definitely uh, different um, than the flat setup um, where I can just like pile stuff on. Um, and I'll have to definitely, you know, get used to the strapping down of things um, on this slanted version on the Travoy. Um, and I will bring panniers to the store just because I'm used to it. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll need them or not, so it doesn't hurt to bring them. Okay, let's go. So I do have to take off my saddlebag, uh, which is a little disappointing. And actually before I go to the store, I am going to mention how I connect this trailer to um, a bike. I just grabbed my gravel bike so I can um, illustrate that without having to move them back and forth and then we can see them at both at the same time to understand the difference. So a flatbed trailer or if you have a kid it, um, like a toddler in a pull behind trailer they're typically going to go on your rear um, axle. And so Okay gonna... I think you're kind of able to see what I'm working with here. Um, I have a 15 millimeter through axle on this bike. This is my uh, Cervelo Aspero. It's a gravel bike. Um, and this also works with quick release. Um, it should work with 12 millimeter. Um, this fits perfectly in uh, 15 millimeter. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread it on and basically I want this adapter piece to eventually fall down so that it's um, kind of like a sandwich this way. And I'm going to push it through to line up everything. If your skewer doesn't look exactly like this, um, you know, don't panic. Um, I know that Burley does have different adapters for older bikes, um, but okay, so the way I turned it in, this piece is upside down, so before I uh, tighten my, th my, um, my skewer all of the way, I'm going to adjust the mount piece so that it's facing the way I want to. Might be a little hard to see. Does that help? Um, so like I said, think of it like a sandwich and your pieces of bread are kind of flat um, in there like this. And then I can tighten up my skewer. And then I'm ready to put this guy in. So you put this piece in the middle of the sandwich and then this is your safety pin. And you put in the pin and then you make sure to clip this because if anything, um, if you bump over anything, you'd have to go over something pretty severe to get the pin to lock out, but that's just um, an extra measure of security to make sure your pin stays in. It's similar to the sliding um, feature on um, the seat post um, clamp on the Travoy. And my bike is very dirty, so um, <laughs> this is an easy job if you keep your bike clean, but if you're 
like me, and you just got back from a trip, I have my excuses. But anyway, it's really pretty easy. Hopefully I didn't make it look harder than it is. Um, all right, I'm gonna flip this around. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, there we have the burly, the flatbed version where you can see you can bungee things down to this. Like I said, I like to put um, a bin of some sort, like a plastic tote in here to fill up my groceries. And this one is the Burley Travoy, which I just installed. It has the seat post mount and a swivel. And the Travoy um, has obviously the different shape and it's more of an um, upright. So I will see what I think and I will let you know. So hopefully this helps to put the bikes kind of together like this, but you can see the difference between where the flatbed mounts to my rear hub through um, onto the axle and where the Burley Travoy goes onto my seat post. Um, now if I don't have kids, so I'm just going and shopping and getting groceries, but if you have um, kids trailers, Burley also makes kid and pet trailers. So if you have a kids trailer, it's often gonna be like this um, for the little guys, for the toddlers, you'll have a pole behind and it'll have that kind of mount. And if you have something like, I think a WeHoo works like this, um, but if you have an older kid who can um, pedal themselves, but maybe might get a little worn out on a longer trip, um, maybe when they get like, say, seven years old, um, you might have a kiddo who's um, riding um, a pull behind that basically turns a regular bike into a tandem bike. And so that would also have a seat post mount like the Travoy, and it would have a similar and a swivel to go around and over. It usually has like a pole with a big arc in it. And that um, is what you see to go there. So um, yeah, I'm a big fan of trailers. Um, I'm gonna test these out to see the actual differences um, and just make some observations on what I like because I'm curious about these. Um, but in general, I'm a big fan of trailers because they let you do more stuff on your bike. Well, thank goodness there's a car in my driveway so I can use it as a tripod. almost overdid it. I unpacked, as I say, to the gills is what I would call this. So I actually use the burly toad itself and the straps on the top and then I have my liquids bungeed at the bottom. I might be over the weight limit. Oops. Um, and I think I've definitely impeded my turning radius here, so that's my fault. I stuffed my panniers, but we'll see how I'll make it home. Well, I did make it home. Um, it wasn't too bad. I definitely would try to do less weight next time. I got a little carried away with my beverages, but um, I kept the cold stuff in my panniers, so I'm gonna hurry in and pop that off. Um, and I will give some more thoughts once I've rescued my ice cream from this heat. So it's been a few months now and I've had the time to um, try out both trailers and really kind of digest what um, the pros and cons are. So for me and my biking needs, um, the flatbed is probably overall a better fit if I had to pick just one. And um, trailers are really expensive, but you can often find something similar to the flatbed 
um, on Facebook Marketplace. Um, you might even be able to find one that is a burly. Um, and I mean, they last a really long time, but then people with kids will sell them. So I've seen them at yard sales for 20 bucks for some trailers. And if you're just looking for an affordable option that can do a lot of things, I wouldn't rule out a kid trailer. Um, I really like the flatbed trailer because I can load it up with stuff um, that uh, material is like a Kevlar or some type of material on the flatbed. And it's really, really durable. It's held up to all sorts of um, abuse from me over the years. Um, I've had that one for about four years now. And um, you can also carry really long items on it. Um, as long as they're secured and you have your weight kind of figured out, you don't have to worry about it um, bumping into you the way you would with the Travoy trailer. Because it's at a slant, a really long item, like a bike box, for example, would come up the slant and then run into the back of the rider. So um, a quick Google search will give you a good visual for that. But um, I was able to get two bike boxes this summer on my flatbed trailer um, from a local bike shop. So that was a really fun trip um, that I would not have really been able to do easily on the Travoy. So I feel like the flatbed gives me more um, flexibility and more options for hauling stuff. Um, but of course the advantages to the Travoy is that it's smaller, it packs down. Um, it would have been great when I was living in an apartment um, and I could see it coming in handy for travel. Um, so if I wanted to take um, a bike or some luggage with me, um, I'd have a portable trailer to do that. Um, so who knows, that, that might be an option in the future. Um, but otherwise, I just like having trailers that I could loan out to a friend um, or otherwise just recommend to people because I guess what I love about trailers is that it really expands what you're able to do with a bike um, and you can um, just have a lot of fun with them. You can do a lot of things that definitely turn people's heads when you're biking around hauling things on a trailer. So if there's anything that I forgot to mention or anything, um, any other questions I can answer, please drop them in the comments. I would be happy to talk more about these, but that is all for now.